Yo, hi guys, Kevin here. Welcome back to Car Build and Tune In episodes. Last episode, I made this on the screen right here. RX7 is murdered out. It looks so nice. Uh, it drifts really nice as well. So if you haven't checked out that build, I recommend you do. Uh, but the most voted up comment on the last video was a Mazda MX-5 4 rotor. And to be honest, I can't wait. <laughs> I love a Miata, I'm not going to lie, what the fuck? I love a Miata so this is going to be fun. Uh, obviously the short wheelbase is going to be hard to control, it's not going to be as stable as you're going to want it, but it's going to be a fun car. Alright, let's make it red. Okay, let's go with that. So if you want to see a car next episode, leave a comment saying what car you want, uh, you want to see. And yeah, if someone sees a comment that you like the look of, thumbs it up. This is your 1994 Mazda MX-5 Miata. Okay, so... I need to upgrade this. It's looking okay. Uh, I was thinking in this Miata, I'm not going to need a lot of power, to be honest. Um, engine swap, I'm not even going to go near it, to be honest. I'm not going to need... Oh, engine swap, of course I'm going to need it. I need a 4 rotor. Wow, this could put a lot of power in this. 690 horsepower. I said I didn't want a lot of power, but I can't help it now, can I? I just got it. Okay, so you guys wanted to see it for MX5. It's going to be hard to control, I'm going to say that. Okay, let's leave that. Uh, body kit. Uh, that's quite nice, it's got a lip on it. Let's go with that. Um, you can choose whatever body kits you want, uh, that doesn't matter. Uh, I'm gonna leave that standard spoiler. Standard rear bumper. Standard side um, side skirts as well. Um, so what else do I need? Um, what is this? Oh, it's the bonnet. I can't see the bonnet though because I can't change the camera. So I'm just going to stick with the stock bonnet for now. Uh, you can choose whatever body kit you want. Okay, well, tyres. Right, I'm going to go with sport tyres. There we go. And where is. Oh no, I was, going... I was just about to start on the rims then. Well, I realised tyre whips, of course. Right, let's go full on the front and then full on the rear. We, we want as much grip as we can. Uh, so full width on the rear, 265s. Okay, rims. Got to use Specialized for an MX-5. I can't look past those. Let's have a quick look though. All those. They look a little bit better. Compromotive MLs, okay. Uh, no, let's go to these Compromotives. I like those. Where are they? Where are you? I've gone past them. There they are. Okay, let's put them on. Might change the colour of those. It looks kind of weird with the red, but maybe maybe a 15 inch rims and the car with uh, brake suspension, it could probably look a lot better. Okay, so that is the tyres done, and we're going to jump onto drivetrain now. So everything in drivetrain, I'm going to put to race. What really annoys me about this build is it's in S-Class and I hate drifting F-Class. I, I just don't know why. I just can't do it. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it because you guys asked for 4 Rotor MX-5, so I can't really look away from it. It's going to be fun. <laughs> you, can't, you can't deny that. Um, anyway, with the platform and handling, everything racing here basically. Um, I'll have a look at the roll cage, see what it looks like. But... Okay, maybe those wheels do suit it a little, little bit better when it's um, lowered, but I don't know. Still might change the colour of it. Okay, so that's race anti roll bars done. Where's the roll cage? You can see it in the back window there, but I can't change the view on the wheels, so I'm just going to go with the roll cage, fuck it. Okay, weight reduction. Race weight reduction. Yes. We're on S750, and I am not doing any engine upgrades. I know there's only one upgrade, but 
to take it up to 718 horsepower would just be retarded. So I'm just not going to do that. And I'm just going to jump into Silverstone now and get drifting this beast. Okay. Wow. Listen to that scream. Shit. <laughs> Fuck me. Imagine 690 horsepower of shit in this car. Oh my fucking lord. Oh my nipples sagging Jumanji Chinese uh, potato skins. Oh my fucking lord, this is crazy. Okay. Let me try and assess the situation right here. We have 700, no, 690 horsepower in the sh probably the shortest wheelbase in the game. And we're trying to drift it. Okay. It's not gone very well at the moment. There were stages when it was going okay, but then, whoa. Okay. 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 Yep. <laughs> Let's just try and put a tune on this. Okay. Tire pressure is going right down. Uh, the front can go up, actually. I need the control in the front. Um, but rear, let's say 20, 24s. Should we go that low? Let's try it. Um, gearing can go away from acceleration. We don't want a lot of acceleration. But let's try that. Camber, I am going to camber it. I know camber spins up the tyres, but in terms of drifting and transitions, I'm going to need it. Um, so let's go to 1.8. Um, 0.1, minus 0.1, cast this, take it to 7. Okay, anti robots leave the front where it is, bring up the rear to that point. Okay, I want the car a lot stiffer. With this much power, I want it stiffer. And I prefer my car stiffer anyway, so I was going to do it anyway. <laughs> okay, damping. Let's make the front a little bit stiffer than the rear. There we go. And the bump stiffness can go about halfway. There we go. Okay, braking, I can leave that and let's lock the differential. This could be insane. I don't even think those settings will actually make a difference, to be fair. I just kind of gone blind into that. I just kind of just done it. I'm never going to stop the tyre spinning. We've got 690 horsepower in this light. Like, this car is incredibly light. Kind of drifting. Oh no, not drifting anymore. I was kind of getting scared. <laughs> I didn't want to press the pedal any longer. It does feel like I have to shorten the gear, though. Maybe taking it that far into into the speed bit um, kind of ruined it a little bit. Uh, so let's just take it up. I don't want to take it back up to where it was, but we'll take it up. Okay, tires in the front. I'm going to need a little bit more. Uh, grips, so let's go down a tiny bit. There we go. Let's try that. I'm going to need a lot more grip in the front. It's turning far too easy, but this car is light. I can't... I don't know what to do here. Wow, that screams... Okay. Oh, let's take a moment. I just drifted. <laughs> Fuck, that's a lot of power. I, I was hardly even pressing the pedal then. It's insane. Let's give it another run. Ah, oh, I've lost that. It's hard to keep this car from not floating. I just feel like I've got to take the tire pressures right down. Especially in the front. <sighs> I did not even want to spin the tires then pulling away. It's insane. <laughs> this car's insane. I don't even know how to tune it. I'm in the darkness. I just got to take the tire pressures down. It's just the car is too light. I just need some grip.
Yeah, let's try that. Gearing seems alright. Uh, let's try that. Let's tr try with those extra tire pressures. Uh, see if that can grip it up a tiny bit. But <laughs> to be fair, with this car, I'm, I don't think we're going to grip it up anyway. So he's going to lose traction. It's doing a little bit, a little bit better now, though. That's a lot more stable then. On the exit of that corner, that was really stable. Maybe that tyre pressure has really done it then. You can tell when you pull it away, it isn't as loose. Well, obviously it is going to be loose, because fucking 690 horsepower in this bitch. Oh, what the fuck just happened to my wheel then? There's no force feedback. <laughs> Look at that! The way that has just done that, that's insane. I don't even know where to start, man. I just don't drift cars with this much power. I just, it don't help this is the shortest wheelbase in the game as well. I swear. Oh my god. I'm just in concentration mode. The faces I'm pulling, I don't even want to know. Alright, we've got that around the corner. Uh, the only thing I can do is just keep taking tire presses down. Uh, maybe I could take camber down, but the transitions would be terrible. Um, right, let's give it another one. Oh my god, I made it round twice in a row. What I am going to do is just take down the tyre pressure just a tiny bit more. Um, just feels a bit loose when you do floor it. Uh, so this, let's just try that. It sounds insane though. Fuck, you know. My ears are exploding. Get it around the corner. Yeah, I made it. The power. <laughs> the power. That does feel a lot better though with that lowering it that little bit more. It feels a lot more stable. Obviously it's not stable because well, you know, I've said it about 50 times, but the power. Oh my god. I nearly lost control of the car. Okay, I'm making it around the corner now. That's got to be a good sign, surely. Maybe I've got the tune on lock. <laughs> There's no tune for this. All you can do is make it a little bit more acceptable. so wide. Somehow I stopped it though. <laughs> the lightness of the car, that's where that comes in. <laughs> you can stop it really easily. Okay, let's just do one more run, but I think I'm going to leave the tune there. It feels quite nice. So one thing I will say, don't floor it. Short shift. Be careful in the throttle. 
I don't know how this is going to behave on the on the controller, but you'll have to let me know. And the wheel is not too bad to control, but on the controller, I have no idea. So yeah, that's that. Kind of like this car to be fair. Uh, it does spin up quite nice. I won't be using it a lot. I'll probably use it in like lobbies and stuff like that. But in terms of getting a nice run, I probably wouldn't pick this car. So hope you guys enjoyed this. I show the tune right now. Uh, that's the tires really low, but I need it. <laughs> Gearing, alignment, anti-roll bias, springs, damping, aero, braking, and a differential. So if you want to copy any of those down, just pause the video and just copy it down. So, so yeah, <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed this. This car is insane. Screams like a beast. Look at that! Oh my god! Okay, <laughs> let's just calm down. And yeah, if you like guys like this, give it a thumbs up. And I'll see you guys next time!